today was actually a really good day. Uh, I had a little bit of stiffness and pain. Went and got my new tattoo. I'm really excited about it. Um, it means a lot to me. And it was a lot of driving, so I was kind of tiring. And then I've just kind of been taking it easy. I did my shopping today and some other just very light, yeah, light things to do. I didn't really do a whole lot today. Other than that, um, I was just kind of a really unusual day. Just really quiet and just went up for the tattoo. I came, went and got a couple of things for a uh, Christmas project I'm working on for some friend's kids. And came back home. I can't seem to get full today, which is kind of awkward and my blood sugars seem to be just kind of bottoming out for no reason um i had some potatoes today and i covered i think it was like 100 carbs and i know i had at least 100 carbs of potatoes and uh i still ended up bottoming out at like 49 um when I had had the potatoes, I was 117, so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, my lymphedema has been acting up pretty bad the last couple of days. Today is not as bad as what it was yesterday. Yesterday, was, they were big. My feet were really, really swollen, and today I actually have my socks on to help get that down. Um, so, yeah, just kind of. Taking it easy and keeping my feet up just at the moment, but trying to feed the hungry, hungry tummy that's going on right now, and I don't know why. So, random days of hunger. Yeah. This morning was a rough day, a slow start to my day. Um, I really just didn't want to get out of bed and just kind of arguing with myself to get out of the bed. And, um, when I finally did, our power in town completely went bye-bye. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I guess I'm glad I didn't leave because I usually take the elevator, especially in the morning because I'm just, I'm too stiff to, to do stairs. Um. So yeah, I could have gotten stuck in the elevator today. Um, I think the power was out for about a half hour, 45 minutes, somewhere in there. And uh, I ended up taking the stairs downstairs and and uh, it was a slow trip. Um, kind of had to be because even the backup lights didn't turn on. So I had to use my cell phone for a flashlight. Um, and then I just kind of came back upstairs and I ended up going out to lunch with my honey's mom. And I absolutely love going out to lunch with her. I love spending time with her. We always have a really great time and um, great conversation. She's a wonderful lady. Um, yeah, we, I think we took like three hours for lunch today. Um, had some coffee afterwards and then uh i came home and uh subway i love subway subway had a special today for national sandwich day so i picked up subway for dinner for my honey and i and he was kind of serious but he was kind of teasing me about laundry not getting done and it was like i just got back home not too long ago from lunch with your mom and he was like how long were you gone three hours so I got some laundry done today I didn't get it all done because I just I didn't have enough quarters tonight so um I can finish those up tomorrow or the next day it's not a rush but uh pain wise was actually a pretty doable day not too absolutely horrible but it was it was there and it had its moments but I guess for me it's like I've had it 
for so long now that I kind of know what my limits are. Um, if I don't know where, how an area is, I might bring a pillow with so I have something softer to sit on if I don't know what the chairs are like or I will make sure that I'm able to sit down and so today you know it was pretty manageable just because of the fact that I went and sat down for lunch and um, during laundry instead of coming back up I ended up working on a Christmas project for a friend of me and my honey's girls so I stayed downstairs, and then when it was all said and done, then I came upstairs. Uh, so it was just, it was a quiet day. Yeah. Hi, everyone. It's kind of weird to wake up and really not hurt, I guess. Like, I'm, I don't even know how to describe it because it's, it's unusual, but it's kind of just some body aches more than anything the real hard part sorry I had an itch um the real hard part is my hands my hands are the ones that are hurting the worst and I am about to use these in natural cure uh heated therapy mittens i've got them on halloween and i have been using them almost every day there was one day that i didn't and i could tell the difference when i didn't use them but those things are actually really nice they really help my hands um i'm working on doing a review for them that i will be posting up later this week good god my hair is all sorts of frizzy but that's what happens when you just wake up you can hear my coffee being made in the background. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to take a moment and talk about just the fact that I don't hurt. I ache. I don't know. I, I'm mind boggled by this and probably will be all day. So have a good day, everyone. Well, being that yesterday was such a low pain day i figured i would actually get some stuff done and that did not happen um i was really tired and just downright lazy actually there's no excuse for it um today it seems that my lymphedema is kind of acting up although it doesn't look as bad as it feels like it feels like my feet and all the way up to my knees is just really swollen and it's really painful um i guess the few last few days it has been acting up just not so much pain wise but definitely definitely has been swollen and uh yeah i had an appointment that i went to today and other than that i've just been kind of putting my feet up just because they hurt so bad it's it's i don't know how else to explain it i really don't sometimes i just get so frustrated just trying to explain stuff in ways that people who aren't experiencing it or experiencing something similar can understand so, yeah, it feels like I've been on my feet for, I don't even know what to even compare it to, but for a very long time, more than just your normal work day of standing and moving around, and it just does not seem to want to get better. Um, Other than that, really just been busy stuffing my face because i can't get full i today i ate and i ate quite a bit i had like an arby's roast beef big roast beef sandwich with large fries and after i ate it i was like i could eat more i didn't but i could have three hours later i'm making more food
I had three bowls of noodles with a like a house Caesar or Caesar vinaigrette type dressing and Parmesan. My bowls are huge. They hold over two cups of food. So that's, that's like six cups of noodles at least. And all of my bowls that I had were just heaping full. And I ate them all. The only reason why I stopped even eating was because I could feel that my stomach felt like it literally was going to explode inside my body. And after I stopped for a minute, it took me like an hour to eat all this stuff at least. I don't even know how long it took me to eat it. But after like pausing for a minute because I felt all this stretching and like my stomach was going to explode inside my body, I realized I had eaten myself nauseous. But yet I wasn't full. I was still hungry. Although I was no longer hungry for noodles, I was hungry for something else. But I don't know what. Only to literally within, I think it was three hours, two, three hours, somewhere in there, to have a low blood sugar. Well, I guess it really wasn't low. My blood sugar was like 156 before I ate the noodles and, yeah, like 86 afterwards. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me. My, I'm going to give it a couple more days, but maybe we'll see. Today has been a day of exhaustion and stuffing my face with even more food and naps and really um, strange muscle issues. Right now I'm having a random butt cheek cramp and it won't go away. My calves have been really, really like, sore today hard to stand on them because it just hurts but then they're achy if there's not weight on them and if there's not weight on them then the bottom of my feet hurt so i don't know i think i'm gonna uh, stuff my face either it's this i don't know joking that i have a parasitic worm that's making me hungry but the only downfall is is i'm not so yeah but uh I'm going to stuff my face some and then probably go back to bed. Today was a very quiet day. I slept a lot today and ate a lot. That's not new. Um, worked on some art projects. Well, Christmas gifts. And snuggled with my puppy. She was She was very snuggly today. Just kind of odd for her. But pain wise, I don't know. When I stood up, there was a lot of pain in my lower back and down my legs, especially my caps, my ankles still. So. <laughs>